Many farming operations today are diversified. That's the reality when it comes to turning a profit while turning the soil. For some, it's a combination of crops and livestock. For the Cerber family farm here in Ohio, it's a more global approach to providing feed and livestock. Agricultural roots run deep in the Cerber family, seven generations on this Ohio land. Since 1802, when Jacob Serber first settled the land, we've had a Serber on this farm ever since, and including today. My, I'm here at my father's house, who's 92, and my uncle's behind us baling hay, and he's 89. Raising crops has been a way of life for the Serbers for more than 200 years. But some 20 years ago, the family began to diversify, involving themselves in other agricultural enterprises. A natural offshoot was the purchase of a feed company for which John Serber had long been a sales representative. We buy corn from local farmers and we grind it, we mix it with uh, vitamins and minerals, and then we haul it to the different farms. And you look to see which ones yeah. were hog farms and which one were dairies. Sean Serber is the logistics manager at Premier. Coming behind you, Jeff. Sean supervises the movement of 350 tons of feed each day, mixing it for everything from sheep and deer to rabbits and goats. This is the computer that makes all of our feed here. This is the, uh, all of the overhead bins that each has an, each an individual ingredient in it. The uh, computer has a formula that is already programmed in it, and when we tell it to go, it starts on its own, it'll draw up each ingredient, dump it into a scale hopper where it's weighed, and then it goes down into our mixer where it's mixed for two minutes and 40 seconds. After that, it is ran outside to an overhead bin where it's ready to be loaded on a truck. Premier also makes food for pigs. That came in handy when the Cerberus decided to add livestock to the mix. 11 years ago when we bought the business and we were looking for ways to expand, the opportunity to build a pig barn came up and it just seemed like it'd be a good fit because that's what we done. We made feed for animals. So it has been a great fit for our family. Um, we've learned to work together, laugh together, and it has certainly changed the conversation around our supper table. The family's pork production operation has grown dramatically. Today, totaling some 60,000 pigs a year. From 14 pound piglets, these hogs will grow to 270 pound animals over a six month period. It's a pork production operation that involves almost everyone, including Sean's daughter, Brooklyn. They're really cute and you gotta work with them to make them not scared so they'll be good mamas with their babies. And in 2010, the family expanded their livestock efforts becoming certified to export animals overseas. It's a project they call Feed the World. Feed the World is really an offshoot from ultimately what we do is help farmers each and every day, whether it be on our businesses from the feed side, the grain side, or now with raising livestock. So, you know, this is a way that we can not only touch things going on here in Ohio and surrounding states, but now we can actually reach out to the world. Connie, tell me about the isolation facility. This hoop structure um, is part of our Feed the World exports that where we'll bring cattle in and they are required by the country that they'd be traveling to to stay here for a certain amount of days. In this case, these cattle were traveling to Turkey and Turkey is required for the animals to stay here 20 days and they're quarantined and that's to make sure that they're healthy and, and um, in good enough condition to make the travel to Turkey. Mm -hmm. And you say 20 days for Turkey, but depending on the country, it could be any number of days. Yes. And at any one time, you could have anywhere from well, 77 or less to what, up to, you said 300? 300 could stay under this. <laughs> Feed the World currently moves livestock by road, rail, and ship. The creation of an airport inspection station nearby will ultimately allow the servers to fly animals to locations around the globe. Efficiency is one side of it, it's more the speed. Whenever you're going to Turkey or Russia, it's going to take 21 to 28 days by boat. We can do it in 12 to 16 hours. So the animal is under much less stress. You are going to pay more, but you're going to 
have an animal that's not going to have to go through some of the time and, and involvement that it takes just to physically get the animal by boat somewhere. All of these agricultural enterprises provide the Cerbers with the opportunity to continue a farming tradition that's already two centuries old. It does continue the generations, but I think there's such opportunity in agriculture we're not going to quit eating, and there's going to be more people. So from an opportunity standpoint, from a satisfaction standpoint, I don't know of any other industry in the world that could be better. And that's really what we all love about what we do each and every day. And I like to say for most people, they get up and they go to work. It's their job. They come home from work. It's not our job. It's our life. And we love our life.